like I said, great grandfather started in the dairy business right after the turn of the century, and then it's just kind of progressed through the next generations. How big was the farm when you first started? Well, actually, I started out with about 60 cows. And in the six years, we worked it up to about 350. And then when the boys came of age to help, we grew to about 700. Been growing ever since. When you have a family situation, it's just a progression. Red top jerseys, it's a combination of my family, which includes my parents, my wife, my brother, my sister-in-law, and then cousins of ours, same thing maybe there, two brothers and a son and their spouses that are all involved. Um, we do handle a large amount of cattle in, in one facility, but we're hands-on with it. We've got a lot of family members involved here that are part of the day-to-day -day operations. I like to term it as a large family farm uh, versus a factory farm. Whether it's 100 cows, 1,000 cows, or 10,000 cows, how cows are taken care of is really the same. I, myself, fourth generation dairyman. Uh, looks like we have a fifth generation coming on for too long. But my position is at the bottom of the totem pole. I've worked my way all the way down. <laughs> You've worked your way down? I've worked my way all the way to the bottom. Your dad is 75 years old, but he's still coming out here to shovel. What is that, do you think? Why does he do that? It's right here. That's what he loves to do. He's teasing you when he says he's moving down the totem pole. He's as important as he ever was. <laughs> 